Thank you, Sophie. All right. Hi, everybody. We made it today. Good job. And we are today uh, doing a Gershwin. Uh, Gershwin is a very interesting person. And today we're going to have Sophie, Calista, and Holden doing the presentation. Hi. 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 <laughs> okay. So here we go. That's Sophie, Calista, and Holden. Hello, my name is Sophie. I'm 12 years old. I'm Kristen and I'm eight years old. Hi, I'm Holden and I am six. We all attend Polytechnic School. We have been Vivian students for a really, 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 really long time. Today we will be talking about Gershwin. American composer of the early 1900s. Then we will demonstrate and explain the meaning of an arrangement for a musical piece using a piece written by George Gershwin himself, I Got Rhythm. George Gershwin was born in New York City in 1898. He wrote all different kinds of pieces. He is most famous for combining classical music with pop music. When Gershwin was little, there were no parks or playgrounds to play in New York City. He ended up playing in the streets. He learned how to play street hockey and stickball, and he could even roller skate. George Gershwin was never really interested in music until when he was seven or Gershwin was roller skating through Harlem, a neighborhood in New York. There he saw restaurants and clubs full of jazz bands. He never forgot the lively music. Later, he heard a violin being played through a window. He wanted to learn all he could about music. Gershwin started going to free concerts and even playing his friend's piano. When Gershwin was 12, his parents bought a piano for George's older brother, Ira. However, George started taking lessons as well. When George was 15, he was good enough to get a job playing piano at a company that wrote songs and printed, printed sheet music. It was in an area called the Tin Pan Alley. Famous actors and singers stopped by to listen to new songs for their acts. This way, George got to meet many famous people and play piano for them. George's songs were so fun to listen to that it didn't take long for one of them to become a hit. It was called Swanee. A famous singer, Al Jolson, heard George play Swanee and sung it for his Broadway show. While George Gershwin was composing his own songs, sometimes he asked his brother Ira to write the lyrics. When George wasn't composing, he loved to paint self-portrait by George Gershwin. Gershwin was becoming well-known all over New York. He was invited to parties with famous people to play piano. One person who liked George's music was a jazz band leader named Paul Whiteman. Paul decided to put on a serious concert and ask George Gershwin to write a jazz style piece for the concert. George took his chance and composed a piece called Rhapsody in Blue. He used sounds around him to inspire his music. At the concert, Paul invited many other composers and musicians to play as well. But Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue was the big hit. The audience loved it. Rhapsody in Blue made Gershwin famous. Did you know that Gershwin rushed Rhapsody in Blue for the deadline of the concert and imp improvised the piano melody himself? Here, 
are a few lines from history.com about Gershwin's Rhapsody in Blue. Just five weeks prior the experiment in modern music concert, Gershwin had not committed to writing a piece for it when his brother Ira read a report in the New York Tribune stating that George was at work on a jazz concert for the program. Fellas painted into a corner, George Gershwin pieced Rhapsody and Blue together as best he could in the time available, leaving his own piano part to be improvised during the world premiere. Rhapsody would, of course, come to be Regarded. Regarded as one of the most important American musical works of the 20th century. There's a link to an arrangement of Rhapsody, Blue to Rhapsody in Blue in the chat. When you're done listening to it, please return right away. We are not presenting it live because there would be too much delay. Okay, uh, there's a link on the chat. So if you want to listen to it right now, you can do that. Um, or we can just keep going and then you can listen to that later. So Sophie is going to keep going. Even after Gershwin became famous, he still wanted to learn more about music. He traveled to South Carolina and wrote more operas and songs. Sometimes Gershwin used odd, some odd objects to make specific sounds in his music. So whenever you are listening to his music, listen carefully. George Gershwin died in 1937. His music is still around today. Next, we will perform three different arrangements of the same song, I Got Rhythm by Gershwin. But what, but what is an arrangement? 
In music, an arrangement is taking a piece and changing it, but sticking with the same melody. In Gershwin's time, arrangements were a common way to play a piece, unlike any other musical periods. Please welcome Holden to the stage as he performs the first arrangement of I Got Rhythm arranged by Kevin P. Holt. Next, Calista will play I Got Rhythm with a different arrangement. I'm going to interrupt just a second. Uh, Sophie, can you um, take out the share screen so everybody can see you guys play? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, if Holden won't play one more time, we can see him play again. <laughs> okay, one more? Sure. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Thank you. Next, Calista will play I Got Rhythm with a different arrangement. Was a scooter in the chair. Sophie is playing the same clip of the original I Got Rhythm arranged by Gershwin himself. Oh, you get him. 
Oh, what a bad thing to do. Hold on. Share screen again. Hold on. What a bad thing to do. Do the sources lots and lots of sources. And thank you for coming to our presentation and have a good day. Thank you for being here. I watched the video. Good job. Good job, Sophie. Good job, Sophie and Calista. Yay! Yay! Okay. Um, can you help me to? Yes, we're gonna take the share screen back and. Again, Vivian's gonna give everybody a pop quiz. Aha, yes, this is the time. What is, what is arrangement? Other than Sophie to answer it. What is arrangement? <laughs> oh, Amelia. Okay. Yep. It's um, it's another like um. It's sort of like a synonym, but in a in piano where where it's it's like this. It's just a different type of way of playing it. Very good. So what do we keep? What do we keep? Up, oh, Henry. You keep the melody? You keep the melody, very good. So you keep the melody and you have different kind of, different kind of. <laughs> Sophie, you wanna help? Um, different like harmonies and background. Chords. Yes, so you keep the idea, you keep the music. So uh, it's like a uh, t-shirt. You keep the form of the teacher, but you have different design. <laughs> or you can have fried rice. Maybe I'm hungry, so that's I'm saying that. Uh, fried rice is fried rice, and you can put different kind of meat to that. <laughs> that's arrangement. I'm not sure why I made that as an example, but you guys get the idea. Very good. And yes, Lucia. Well, I was just gonna say, like, kind of keep the base, but you can add different topics. Right, right. So, um, before before the jazz or more the contemporary music, we tend to what do is whatever the composer written down on the music that we will just follow through, we just play exactly what it is, right? And then after that, uh, the more the contemporary music is allow uh, the 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 performance to be in a different form. So it's more like open, open a different, a dif different perspective, perspective, a different uh, way to, to enjoy the music, okay? So you will hear a lot of song that what we listen to on the radio. It can be the same thing, it can be the same song, but you have a different arrangement. It can be maybe singing the same song, but maybe just only the piano, or with the full orchestra, or with a band, or with digital synthesizing, or with acoustic guitar. All those, we call that arrangement, okay? And of course, they can also change to a different key. So because a lot of time right now, especially currently, we have a lot of song is with singing. And my voice is not very high, so I might not be able to sing very high of the note. So I can use the same music, but I can change the key. Okay, so that's also a uh, part of arrangement as well. Very good. And anyone can answer where George Gershwin traveled to. He traveled to a lot of places, actually, if you read the book, this book. It did talk about a lot of more than, uh, than, than one particular place. So can anyone say, what, where he traveled to? No? Guess. Sassy, guess one. 
Where did he go? <laughs> Says it, why me? <laughs> oh, Harry, Harry. I know I can count. Um, uh, Utah? Not Utah. <laughs> oh, uh, Olivia, Olivia wanna do it. Olivia wanna do it. Marcus can do it. Marcus can do it. France. France, very good. What else? What else? I, I saw it in the, uh, earlier. Oh, uh, Lucia, Lucia, okay. He guess Germany, but now I'm just trying to not think. No, well, I guess he probably went, but oh, no. I know Vienna. That's like. Mm, no. <laughs> good guess. Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, so uh, he traveled a lot of places. He went to London, he went to um, uh, uh, France, you know. Um, one of the, oh, Sophie, yes. Um, um, he went to South Carolina. Oh, yes. Wow. And what did he do over there? write music and plays and operas. So yes, he wrote a lot of good pieces and operas too, right? So it's not just the, uh, the band or, uh, or instrumental mu music. He really uh, cover a lot of different, um, different things in music. Uh, another piece that is very famous by Gershwin is called um, American in Paris. It's one of my I think that's one of my favorite uh, orchestra piece. So you can go on YouTube or any, anywhere just to find us called American in Paris. It's very fun actually play a few times in the orchestra. It's very fun. It's very uh, cheerful. It's very happy. And I think you guys will enjoy that as well. Okay, uh, good job everybody. We're gonna take a quick picture, a photo of everybody. So if you uh, have your camera off, you can kindly say hi and pick on, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Marcus has a very uh, prepared <laughs> smile that he is ready for that, right. Yes, he is very, very, very ready for that. And Holden is ready as well. Yes, and Sophie, yes, he's ready. Okay, so are we all ready? Yes, are we good? <laughs> okay, give me one second. Ready, everybody? Ready, 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 ready? Smile! Good job! Very good. Okay, so uh, today is our last session in summer that we are doing uh, the composer's uh, story. We will come back in September, the last week of September, and um, Amelia, hi Amelia, Amelia is gonna start again uh, for another series. We're gonna have Amelia do handle, and then we're gonna have, <laughs> yes, Lucia volunteers again. Yes, thank you, Lucia, volunteerly doing. Doing it on my birthday. On um, birth, yes, it's for Sassy's birthday. So we're gonna join Lucia and sing happy birthday song for Sassy. I guess, yes, that's what we're gonna do. Right, so everybody is gonna celebrate Sassy's birthday for Mendelssohn, okay? And then we'll have a couple, yeah, we'll have a couple more uh, composers to talk about after that as well. We have uh, Copeland, we have Bernstein, we will have, I know I forget, oh, uh, Beatles, yes. <laughs> Mabel, yes, mm -hmm. they are prepared for that, okay? So we will be back, we'll just take a, a, a few break and all the kids are going back to school soon. Good luck, everybody. See you all soon. Good job, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. good job. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Good job, Sophie. Marcus, thank yes, thank you. Good job. You handled it very well. I'm very proud of you. <laughs>
Oh, it was crazy. I know, I can tell that, but you did it. <laughs> you yeah. Did <laughs> very good. Right now. Right they now. Are, yes, they are very, they, they, I know it's a big job for you to how to handle yeah. <laughs> the other two. Okay. So <laughs> Yeah, we get all oh, Ai need uh Naga. Stop screaming, guys, stop screaming. Yeah, did you see what I put in the chat? <laughs> stop, close yeah. it, close it, stop, close it, stop. Hi, can you stop, hear me? It. stop it, close it. So? Sophie, can you hear me? Hi, Sophie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> good job, good job. We we love it. Okay. Yeah. So, love you. Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye. Nice meeting you again. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>